Hello students, good morning. I hope you all are having a good time at home and yesterday you must have watched all the videos and uh, had fun watching your teachers on screen after such a long time like meeting them personally but after such a long time you saw them on the screen so it would have been a good experience. Right. So today for English 2 we will start with the poem that was left, The Elephant and the Travel Pan. Now we have only two chapters left. One is that little square box and one is this poem, The Elephant and the Trago Pan. So today we will start with The Elephant and the Trago Pan. Okay, now this is a very nice poem. Okay, see, this poem is written by Vikram Seth and he was a very renowned uh, poet and writer. Anyway, so in this poem we are told, see the f first thing, the elephant and the tragopan. You already know what an elephant is, right? But what is a tragopan? A tragopan is a very large bird and it has very colorful feathers, okay? Just like a peacock has very colorful feathers, the tragopan also is a large bird having beautifully colored feathers, okay? Just like a peacock, fine. So this poem, the elephant and the tragopan, here the elephant is taking a meeting in the jungle. Okay. And he is talking to the other animals who are present in the meeting about how humans are um, destroying the natural habitat, how humans are harming the animals for their own selfish needs. Okay, We all know about deforestation, right? What happens in deforestation? We cut the woods because we need furniture, we need different things. But what happens to those who are living in the woods? What happens to those who are living in the forests? What happens to the nests of the bird, the trees which are providing shelter to the animals and everything? So what happens to them? They become homeless, right? So today in this poem, we'll study about how the, the actions of a human being are destroying the natural habitat of the animals and that too because of humans own selfish needs okay it is not because of any like uh, social welfare or something it is just because of a human being's own selfish needs that he or she is like the human beings are destroying the natural habitat and how the animals are suffering because of this uh, these actions right so we'll not be this is a very long poem it is given on page number 113 of your book now see this poem although the part which is given in your book is a long part okay but this is only a part of a much larger poem okay this poem actually was even larger this poem uh, the elephant and the tragopan it is even larger poem okay so what happens that this poem the elephant and the tragopan it is a small part not a small part like a good part of an even larger poem this elephant and the travel pan was a very large poem indeed, okay? So we will not be able to complete the entire thing. We will complete uh, like around maybe two pages and the rest last page we might do in the next weeks, okay? So the elephant and the travel pan by Vikram Seth. See, they talked for hours at the close and last at last the elephant arose and with a modest trumpet call drew the attention of them all. So what happens? They talked for hours. Means who are they here? They are the animals who have gathered in the meeting. Okay. There are different animals in the forest, right? So they all have gathered for a meeting. So it is, uh, so the poet tells us that they talked for hours, for hours and hours they were sitting and talking and discussing about the uh, animals and the how the animals are being affected by the human actions so they talked for hours and at the close at the close means at the end of the meeting nearly the meeting was about to end at the close at last the elephant arose so at last the elephant stands up the elephant arose means the elephant stands up and he is ready to address the meeting so at last the elephant arose and with a modest trumpet call, modest means humble, he's not very angry, he just calls out through his trum trumpet. Now what is trumpet? Trumpet is the sound which is made by an animal. Okay, so modest trumpet call means it was a noble, it was a like, not noble, humble, humble trumpet call. Okay, uh, like it, it was a nice call to the animals that now I am going to speak. Okay drew the 
attention of them also as the elephant arose and he trumpets then all the animals their attention is um, addressed towards the elephant okay so the elephant gathers their attention and now the elephant is going to speak now see the elephant has started speaking see see you can see it in double inverted commas right oh beasts of bengal gathered round though in our search for common ground i would not dream of unanimity i hope our views may reach proximity so the uh, elephant says oh beasts of bengal beasts means animals and bengal bengal is the imaginary forest where they are all talking it is not a real forest okay the poet has imagined and given a name to a forest so that is bengal okay where the meeting is being held right so he says oh beasts of bengal means oh animals of this forest gathered round means all those who are sitting around all those who have gathered here though in our search for common ground now we all are talking and discussing about the same thing what is the same thing that they are talking about they are talking about the problem which they are facing because of the um um like the destruction which the human beings are causing okay so oh beasts of bengal gathered round though in our search for common ground common ground means common reasons like we are discussing the common reasons through which the human beings are harming us i would not dream of unanimity now there are many animals right even in your class what happens that when there are too many students and we are discussing something different people different students have different opinions similarly here also in the meeting also different animals have different opinions that how the humans are harming us why are they harming us what else can we do to protect us all these things are being discussed in the meeting fine so what happens that the elephant says that i would not dream of unanimity what is unanimity unanimity is complete agreement sab log jab ek baat pe razi ho jaye that is called unanimity complete agreement among all the members of the meeting so he says that i would not dream of unanimity i cannot think that all of you will agree on one same thing like we cannot all agree on one same thing we are different individuals and we have different opinions so we cannot agree on one same thing i hope our views may reach proximity then the elephant says that but although we cannot agree on one same thing we can just hope that we all reach one particular view on which everybody agrees right so you remember we have discussed like bulletin board things and all in the classroom right so what happened different of all of you have given different opinions right so here also the elephant says ki uh, all of you are having different opinions but i hope that we reach one idea which is agreed by everyone just pe sab log razi ho jaye theek hai to proximity means nearness closeness to ek aisa idea just ek aisa aas paas ka idea jisse sab log relate kar paaye sab agree ho jaye i speak to you as one whose clan has served and therefore studied man then the elephant says that i am speaking to you as one such member of this group this forest animals group i am speaking to you as one such member whose clan clan means family extended family means the elephant elephant's fathers grandfathers mothers grandmothers everybody has been a part of the human race and like you will not see lions in the human race right lions and all you will not see but elephants elephants are like very they are supposed to be very calm and very good uh, tame animals okay they can be tamed very easily they can be we can pet animals very easily they are very like calm and they they will not create any big problems for us they are their nature is very calm okay so the animal elephant says that um, i am speaking as to you as one of those uh, animals one of the family of those who have we have been around men for a long period of time and therefore we know that how what is the nature of man okay so we know how a, a man thinks and what he does okay so we have been among we have served served means like we have man has used us for many things and we have served them हमने उनके हम उनके काम आए हैं तो वी हैव सर्व मैन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड देर फोर वी हैव स्टडीड मैन स्टडी डज नॉट मीन लाइक लिटरली स्टडी द वे वी आर स्टडी स्टडी मीन्स दैट वी वी हैव लर्न द बिहेवियर ऑफ हाउ ऑफ मैन ओके वी हैव लर्न हाउ मैन बिहेव वी नो दैट 
what are the things that he can do so we have been very close to him and we understand that how he is supposed to think how we, how he thinks what he does so we can think of all these things then he is a creature mild and vicious now who is he here he is man like human beings human race in general okay so he is a creature mild and vicious practical minded and capricious so he says that he is a creature mild mild means soft and humble but like man is not somebody who like uh, who is very uh, like he has that thing he has that nature that he is very mild at times he is very soft and very humble and very nice and good at times and vicious now see mild and vicious are two opposite words okay vicious means like um, a kind of cruel behavior it is done generally to like hurt someone or annoy someone or anger someone that is called vicious theek hai vicious means kuch aise you know badmashi jaisa dimag hona to we do it intentionally to hurt someone cruel behavior aise keh do theek hai so he is a creature who is creature who is mild and vicious he is a creature who is soft and mild and still vicious practical minded and capricious practical minded means he man thinks very practically he thinks very logically of everything he does not have that um, uh, he will not like there are very rare times when people do anything thinking of others most of the times we are very selfish and we think ki se hame kya fayda hoga how are we going to benefit okay so he is very practical minded he is very logical and capricious capricious means he's, his behavior is very unpredictable we do not know ki abhi wo acha behave kar raha hai to kyu kar raha hai abhi wo kharab behave karega to kyu karega so he's very his behave man's behavior is very unpredictable we do not know that why he is behaving in a particular way loving and brutal sane and mad means he's loving also and as well as he's brutal also brutal means very cruel behavior very bad behavior so he is loving also he is brutal also these are again two opposite words sane and mad these are again two opposite words sane means mentally sane just the opposite of mad okay mad means pagal right so sometimes man behaves madly sometimes he behaves sanely so man's behavior is very unpredictable the good as puzzling as the bad and when man behaves good in a nice way that is also very puzzling we do not understand it why he is behaving like that but when he behaves uh, bad then also we are not able to understand it means whether he behaves nicely or he behaves bad we are not able to understand that why he behaves in that particular manner his behavior is as puzzling puzzling means confusing the good his good behavior is as confusing as his bad behavior so we do not know that why he is uh, if he is behaving nicely then why he is behaving nicely if he is behaving in a bad way then why he is behaving like that okay the sticky center of this mess is an uneasy selfishness the sticky center means sticky center here is referred to as the brain of the human being so okay so he says that the sticky center the brain of this like the brain behind all this mess mess means all these opposite traits of man theek hai ye jitne traits bataye gaye hain alag alag opposite traits bataye gaye hain na i just told you that mild and vicious are opposite loving and brutal are opposite sane and mad are opposite all these are opposite behaviors right so here it says that uh, practical minded and capricious are opposite practical minded means soch samajh ke kaam karna way capricious means like the unpredictable behavior so all these traits are opposite so the elephant says that the sticky center of this mess mess means something which is untidy something which is like very confusing okay that is called mess tick so the elephant says that the sticky center of this mess the sticky center of all these problems the brain behind all these problems is an uneasy selfishness and why does why do human beings behave like that because is very selfish only the only reason behind all these things is his selfishness okay so we could complete only the first part like i think i'll i'd need two more classes to complete this okay so as the time is over so we'll stop here and uh, i hope you have understood this part if there's any problem then you mark it in your book and we'll discuss when we meet in the class okay we'll need two more classes at least minimum to complete this course fine So take care students have a good time good day ahead